Welcome back. It's 6:51. Happening around our community now this morning, the Community Blood Center will be conducting antibody testing for the coronavirus. Local 5's Calvin Lewis joins us live in Appleton with more on what this means for donors moving forward. Calvin. Yeah, Shelly Nate. Good morning, guys. And that testing will help determine whose plasma exactly could potentially help some of these COVID-19 patients. We're joined alongside Christine Bellinger here with the Community Blood Center. Christine, thank you so much for joining us here yeah, this morning. You. So we're here to talk about convalescent plasma. Tell, tell us, what is it exactly? <laughs> so convalescent plasma comes from a, a donor who has recovered from the COVID-19 infection. When that plasma is donated and made into products, then that goes to treat a patient that is seriously ill with COVID-19 and helps them fight the disease. So exactly how beneficial is this plasma for, say, you know, COVID-19 patients? You know, there's, there's early studies that say that it has been quite, quite successful in helping people recover. You know, it's still very early, but, you know, in a, in a disease that doesn't have a lot of treatments, this is certainly one that has been um, tried and seems to have early success. So how can people know if they're a potential donor? How, how, how would they know if they could, you know, maybe help out? Right. So we're looking for people that have either had a positive diagnostic test for the COVID-19 infection or had symptoms, um, have been fully recovered and meet all the blood donor eligibility criteria. If that's the case, then they can go online to communityblood.org, fill out a form, and uh, we will get in touch with you and take care of the rest. And the process is pretty easy, right? <laughs> it is. You know, donating blood is easy. It's donating plasma with us is also very easy. There's a little bit of a health check, a lot, of s several questions to answer just to make sure that you're healthy enough to donate for someone else. And then the donation itself takes a little bit longer than a regular blood donation, but but gosh, you're you're hit, hurting or helping. Sorry, you are helping people right. who are. <laughs> seriously ill with COVID-19, and that's that's really gratifying. All right. Well, some great information there, Christine. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Really appreciate it. Some yeah. insightful stuff. Thank you. So the Community Blood Center guys, they are going to be starting that testing here pretty pretty soon, actually, at the start of the month here. But as Christine mentioned, you can find more information over on their website. Learn how you can be a donor at communityblood.org. Simple as that.